Welcome back to Aaron's Football Saturdays in the South. It's hard enough to go to school and play on a major college football program, but that is exactly what Ray Ray McElrathby is doing. Had a full-time job, and you think, how can this young man find the time? But hold on, how about being responsible for his kid brother? Well, Ray Ray has found that sometimes it helps to have a team to raise a kid. Ray Ray McElrathby is like thousands of other college football players. The Clemson Tiger is working hard to earn playing time. He spent the offseason moving from defense to offense. Playing in the ACC, one of America's best college football conferences. But this is where the normal part of Ray Ray's story ends. Ray Ray comes from a large family, but his parents have struggled. Probably when I realized crap was a problem, I was probably five years old. Um, that's when uh, we had to move. We were in a nice house, nice neighborhood. My parents married, and so everything was pretty much going well. It kind of got monotonous to us, like, you know, uh, she got with the wrong people. And um, for entertainment purposes, she would, at first she would start, she said she started drinking a lot. It was mostly drinking a lot. And uh, she said she used to lie to my father about a drinking problem and say, yeah, I just had a couple of friends over when she was drinking 12 right by herself or whatever. And then drinking became a problem and from there, it just went on up, upward from just uh, from marijuana to crack cocaine. My father, at first he was around, I mean, he took much more than he was, than I knew about. And so I believe he just got overwhelmed with everything that was going on. We're trying to do everything and end up getting into a bad cycle itself. As far as always trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents, that's where his gambling came in at. All that stuff that happened, it, it kind of drives me. It drove me to get out of the situation. And so if Athletics was my escape. That's what I did to get away. If I didn't have nothing to get away from, I wouldn't have did as much as I did, or tried as hard as I tried. So, yeah, it helped me a lot. Ray Ray has the same struggles as most student athletes, keeping up with schoolwork, finding time for a social life. He's also a surrogate father to his little brother, Famar. Fairmar uh, came on a visit here to Clemson. Um, he had been calling me day by day for like a month period. He would call me at least almost three times a day, asking me when he's coming, when am, when am I going to buy the ticket, because he wanted to get away from the situation he was in uh, in Las Vegas. And so he came for the visit, and uh, he kind of told me he wasn't going back. So it, was, it wasn't really my decision uh, if he was going back or staying here. He kind of made it for me, and uh, I kind of just took it and felt like it would be a better situation for him and me. Great. How, what, how did you? In golf. In golf. Um, some big brothers would be like, I can't do it. I can't go to college, play football, and help and protect and play dad. I just, it just feels great that he's doing this for me. In, in order just to graduate from high school and then have good enough grades to get into college, and then, of course, finally get into college and then try to having to undertake uh, raising your 14-year-old brother. So uh, really, really uh, unusual uh, environment that, that he inherited, but again, has done really, real well. I don't know how he does it either. <laughs> to be an athlete and a student is a task in and of itself, and to take on a child um, is, I just really commend him. It's really been difficult challenging to try to balance the schedule and that's where we just kind of jumped in and said whatever he needs um, we're there to support him. It makes time management extremely tough. Well you know I wake up uh, somewhere around seven o'clock in the morning then I proceed to get dressed to uh, get ready for work. Working, I mean, working keeps my mind off of a lot of things. Staying busy keeps my mind off of just being able to sit there and dwell on my problems. Because, I mean, everybody has problems, so you just, that's, that's my way of not dealing with my problems. Because, I mean, some things I can't, I can't control and I gotta 
learn that so I do other things to keep my mind off of it. Everybody's in my family struggling. This is what we always been doing, struggling. So I, I see this, if, if I don't do this, I, I just, you know, just continue to cycle. These are my struggles. I go through my struggles so they won't have to go through theirs, I would say. One, two, three, four. It would have been easy for Ray Ray McElrathby to take the path of least resistance and live his life on the streets, influenced by gangs and drugs. But this is a young man who knew he was close to trouble and decided to take another direction with his life. As they always tell me, I need a cause. I got to do something for something. I need a cause. So whenever I can give back, whenever I can help somebody else out, I'm free to do it whenever I can. So that's why I tend to stay busy a lot because I'm always trying to help people. All right, it's like this. Check this out. If y'all, a lot of y'all, y'all like this when y'all doing it. Y'all all over here and y'all, it's right here. You step within the leather and you just use your feet. It's just right here. Boom, boom. And you like this. Ray Ray has been very good about going out and, and using this situation to his advantage and speaking to the youth. Um, he's extremely honest about his life. He doesn't pull any punches. He doesn't sugarcoat anything. He's extremely, sometimes a little bit too forward and honest about things, but... He is, he recognizes the position, the platform that he has. It's high knee carrier, so it's like this. And you get your leg up. I was, um, I was one of them, actually. Before I was be able to out here to help him, I was one of the kids that was in this camp. And somebody helped me. So just giving back what somebody gave to me. While the boy's mom works to get her life together, life continues in Clemson. The NCAA gave a special waiver so the McElrathbys could receive financial assistance. It has poured in from the Clemson Nation along with emotional support. I would the NCAA and waiver, I first like to thank the NCAA for, you know, creating that whole waiver thing. It's been wonderful. And the people in Clemson are just as wonderful, even more wonderful. I mean, they all rallied around me. Um, anytime I'm out and they knows me, they you say, we well, think it's a great thing what you're doing. Just want to talk to you, encourage you to keep doing what you're doing. We're very proud of you around here. Thank you for everything that they've done. Thank you for the support. Thank you for helping us with all the stuff that we have. And just thank you for being there for us. Ray Ray McElrathby has left his life on the streets. His brother has found a home, even if it is a bit unusual. And the Clemson Nation has shown compassion for a football player who is a student, an athlete, a big brother, and a man well on his way to a successful life. Aaron's Football Saturdays in the South will be right back.